Jeremy Tracy here at Tracy Crokinole Boards. We're coming at you with something a little different today. This actually comes from one of our very regular watchers, commenters on our YouTube channel, Mark, and he suggested a really cool game slash drill you can do, sit down across from an opponent and just a new fun way to play Crokinole. And the reason we're calling this a drill is because one, it works on some different strategy, and two, because it absolutely gives you the opportunity to hone in on your bump and run skills. Now, the way it works, now he sent this to me in, in typing, so I'll, I, uh, as best as I can decipher, the way this works is that you start with eight buttons of a color. You'll see we've got eight yellow buttons on the board all the way around, so at eight points, one on each quadrant line, and then one in the middle of each shooting lane is how I would call it. I would say you don't get too particular, you're just getting them roughly in the right spots. Now, this is where it gets a little weird. Mackenzie and I are going to try playing this and we each get four black buttons. And the only way you can score points in this game is by knocking a yellow disc into the center hole for 20 points. So, um, you're obviously trying to do bump and runs, but where the challenge, we practice this a little bit off camera. The challenge comes in is if you overshoot a bump and run, then you're setting your opponent up to drop a 20. The other rule that Mark suggested is that once there are three black buttons on the board anywhere, you just pull them off so things don't get too congested. And you just, you continue playing until all the yellows have either been knocked into the gutter or knocked into the center hole. That's when the round ends. So now Mackenzie and I are just gonna dive in and play this. We'll pro probably have you put some music on to keep this entertaining, but- uh, We can. Would uh, How about you start us off? You're the guest. Okay. You're, here, you're probably here way too often to be called a guest, but- There's we'll... no shooting action to determine. Sometimes no. we do like- we The diddle do, for the middle we thing? We do four diddles, but- uh, That'll mess up the board, so I'll just I'd, go for I'd it. say just go for it, yeah. <laughs> Mackenzie light touch. didn't uh, overshoot, so he didn't set me up with that. Oh, I did though. That's not good. And one of the things that Mark pointed out when he was explaining this to me was that it, there's a bit of strategy because you have the option, okay, do I want to go for a bump and run or do I want to take a bump and run away from my opponent? Um, I don't know how spiteful you are, but that's certainly something I would do mm. if I thought it was going to help me win the round of, I don't even know what to call this. Oh, so close. Someone will give it a name. Yes, appropriate or otherwise. And we're trying to drain black, right? No, no, you're trying to drain the yellows. Okay, that's what I thought. It's way less impressive if I beat you if you don't know the rules, so. No! All right, now this isn't the most Compared to playing this off camera, when we played it off camera, it was more entertaining, I thought. So, uh, I'm not really sure what I make of this. Now, this is how it went. It's a battle of attrition. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because there were three or more black on there, we pulled them off. You can pull buttons out of the gutter because we're just going to keep playing until all the yellows are uh, either off or into the 20 hole. Mm-hmm. The suspense is killing our viewers. <laughs> Hogan's Alley. What are you trying to do? You're trying to take one away from me? You are. I don't know why. But uh, I'm going to try something fancy here. I want to try to kick that one in the back end. Ooh. Ooh. And take one away from you at the same time. But... Oh. I think it comes off. That would be all. Yeah, I'm not sure that it matters because, uh, yeah. All right, now I'm gonna get super fancy. I'm gonna try to bump the black into the peg and come back and kick that one in the butt. All over it. Oh, I like the way this is setting up for you. Nice 20. It's gotta go. Now we've got three blacks, so we're gonna pull those back off of there. Your shot. It is my shot. Uh, so I, appre 
I appreciate it's not a really a great setup because I don't love the line, but it does give me a shot. Oh, I did sink it. All right. Oh, and now we've got three blacks on there, so those come off. So we can't plug things up. We both have no shot here. That's true. But I could go ricochet off. So you're gonna try to put this one into that one and then have this one end up That's coming right. in, all right? That's right. Oh. Just not even. Hail Mary. So this is the one, uh, the, the one downside. Shot that see. right off of this is that uh like we're getting to a point we're tied and there's nothing either of us can do we but, just keep uh, going yeah um what is it, oh what about we could do first yellow wins uh first yellow wins because it's like overtime now uh okay so we were tied one one and you want to do first yellow wins you're just saying that because it's your shot is it my shot it is your shot but yeah we can do that Oh no. Ah, no pressure. What would be, like, because that's horrible, like in football, over time, only one person gets the ball, potentially. Right. Horrible way of doing it. Yep. So, like, over time, I make this, you don't even get a chance. Mm. And it's always going to be that way in that overtime scenario. So, you could do first yellow, but if I make this, you have a chance. Yep. And then that if you sense. sunk yours, then it would be. Yep. Who knows, but. Heavy. Fortunately. Oh! Brew ball. Brutal. This is embarrassing. Can you edit that out? Similarly embarrassing. Nice. Now I have to sink this or you, you win. You have a chance to sink. You get wow. it. All right. Let's That's at least one way of doing it. Yeah. This is a new game that we don't know what we're doing. Shh, speak for yourself. <laughs> All right, you started the last game, so I think as the loser, I get to start this game. Absolutely. All right, game on, round two. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got a clean shot at it. Okay, I thought you are gonna have to go through your own. A clean kiss. Not so clean. Ooh. That would have been nice. You got one out of the way, so now you got Now I can go. Ah, we didn't want it. We didn't want it. Uh, the bumping around is tougher than it looks. Who wants 20s anyway? I do. I'll take one. So, uh... Uh, we got three blacks on, so they get to come off. And, uh, Let's just go wild, wild shot. I may have set you up there. Potential. Now that is a setup. Take light, two. Light touch. Oh, touch. and now we get these off because there were three on there. Nice setup. Nice. The blocks yeah. come off because there's three on there now. Tough comeback. Oh, that's the way to go. Come up light. But this is the opposite of what you'd want to do in regular propanol because I'd rather overshoot a little bit in regular propanol than undershoot. Interesting. That, uh, that's four to, four to one? It is. Okay, are we gonna need a tiebreaker? That was the other thing I thought oh, yeah. was that- uh, One game a piece. Once you get up, then you can just clear off all the all the yellows, which ends the game. I remember that doing that off camera whenever we tried. Somewhere in the world, Mark, who suggested this game, is shaking his head going, guys, you're doing it all wrong. That's not what I meant. 
It's not how this is intended to be played, fellas. What are you doing? Imagine. You we should come here and teach made us. Made up our own game. What? <laughs> It's like, that's not at all what I said, but that's a game. All right. Loser goes first here. Nifty. It's a tough start. Nice. The backhand. And then the blacks come off, yep. The other thing I talked about with Mark is how these ones um, aren't super useful at this point. Mm -hmm. They're kind of like, what do you do with them, right? But he made a suggestion. I just have to go back and read what that suggestion was. Dugs. Oh, that was ugly. That Dugs. was super ugly. Sugly? Back board. Oh, oh my goodness. Speaking of ugly, the double bump, bump and run set you up for a double bump and run. <laughs> what do you do there, though? The angle is awkward. Well, if it was easy, we'd call it a different sport. It would. He takes advantage and. If this was off, that would be game over. It's not off. But it's not, you're right. So I can come back, but I have to be on the line? I Yeah, you need to be there touching the line. But yeah, you can be back a ways from it. If you want the black one to go with it, then you want them fairly close together. Right. Even there, I think the black one's gonna go with it. But yeah. What are you trying to do, come into this peg? Yeah, too, yeah, I guess. I really don't care what the black one does, I guess. So, given that I am disappointing, winning. Oops. Oh my. The easy 20. I was trying to go straight, straight in. All right, can you make a 20 out of that? Uh, have to See, do. you need to go from there and have it what come off What if I this. damage off the rail and the yellow comes back in the 20? Well, that count? damage counts, but not like that. All right, Tough let's try loss. it one more time because I feel like when we did it off camera, the matches were more better, more better. -er. Really? I felt yeah, I felt like we had. What some... were we doing? I don't know. I don't know. That was last week. Yeah. Oh, were we making a making um, the twenty and then... maybe? I can't remember. I feel like the same. We were like setting you each know other what? up. Let's try it. Let's just move these in so it's in line there. Still not likely, but you could do something to get it in there if you want it to. You're first. I'm first? Technically. The drill is good for that, for working your bump and run. There's no question. Yep. But, uh... Oh, that was ugly. The first one I was feeling good about my bump and run, and then I just got humbled. Nice. The backhand. Wow. Oh, the blocks can come off. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. Here we go. The capital T. Awful. I think it comes off. I just didn't want to set you up. The blacks are supposed to come off now. I don't think I wanted them to because I wanted to use them mm. for my next uh, attempt here. Wow, so close. And yet so far. 
Good strategy. What? That means nothing, I guess. Uh, as far as I know, that means, let's say it means nothing. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. A game. A game. And you won. So. Some of the matches. Yeah. Uh, pros and cons. What did, what did you like and dislike about uh, overall, Mark's Madness? We'll call this Mark's Madness. Overall, I lost, which is something I don't like about it. Right. But, but. Um, definitely <laughs> works on your bump and runs, no question. Yeah. And uh, usually you have, usually you can count on two open, so it works mm -hmm. on your, whatever yep. you call that. Working on your range, like and your then, shooting range. And then also, um, not setting you up, whatever that skill is. Yeah, that's probably a <laughs> good name for it, not setting you up. Um, I guess making sure your shooter goes where you want it. Uh, yeah. Like pulling them back, Yep. I guess. I think the other thing it's good for is it, it's, uh, I mean, it's completely different strategy than regular crokinole, but it does teach you to have situational awareness. Like right there, you said, okay, you were up, to, you were up by, 20 a 20 so you were going to take away any possibility for me to sink a 20 um yep. yeah and that strategy absolutely turned uh, um transitions over to regular crokinole and where uh, like i just need to shoot off or yep get a five get at least five points and i've got the game yeah now the last one we played we put these two here and i don't know we could try something different, move those two outside ones in there, just something to have them come more in play. But uh, yeah, anyway, it's just a fun game, so take that. There's no hard and fast rules. Please don't message and go, well, what about this situation? You know, I, it's, a, it's a host game, so absolutely host rules. Do what makes it fun for you and yours. And uh, yeah. Comment below your, your suggestions for overtime. For overtime, that's overtime a good. Overtime rules. Overtime rules. Fire away, most importantly. Happy flicking.